Hi Riley, hi Colby. Today's story is Peep Squeak Wants a Friend. That's by Leslie Ann Clark. As the sun came up over the farm, all the baby chicks went running into the yard to play. Peep Squeak ran out too. Then he came to a stop. He was only one. I need a friend, he called. Peep Squeak looked around and saw everyone running in pairs. So he hopped and skipped and ran out of the barnyard and into the woods in search of a friend. Two baby chicks gasped. Don't go into the woods, Peep Squeak. Peep Squeak said, you are two, but I am one. My search for a friend has just begun. Then Peep Squeak hopped, skipped, jumped, and skittered down the path. There on the path were footprints, very big footprints. Peep Squeak skidded to a stop. This could be a friend, he thought, a very, very big friend. Then Peep Squeak hopped, skipped, jumped, and skittered down the path, looking for his very, very big friend. Along the way, Peep Squeak met up with two hedgehogs. Are these your footprints? asked Peep Squeak. No, said the hedgehogs. They're too big for us. You better not go any farther, they added. But Peep Squeak said, You are two, but I am one. My search for a friend has just begun. Then Peep Squeak hopped, skipped, jumped, and skittered down the path. A little while later, it began to rain. Two red birds flying overhead called to Peep Squeak. It's raining, it's pouring, they said. You had better go home. I don't mind, Peep Squeak said. You are two, but I am one. My search for a friend has just begun. Then Peep Squeak hopped, skipped, jumped, and skittered down the path. <clears throat> Down the road, Peep Squeak ran farther into the woods, jumping over puddles and skipping over holes. Two raccoons stood under a bush, eating some apples. It's lunchtime, Peep Squeak, they said. You better go home. Peep Squeak said, you are two, but I am one. My search for a friend has just begun. Then Peep Squeak hopped, skipped, jumped, and skittered down the path. Big footprints continued through the tall trees and ended at the entrance to a dark cave. Peep Squeak peeked inside. Hello, friend, he yelled. Hello, hello, hello. Peep Squeak paused for a moment. Then he hopped, skipped, jumped, and skittered into the cold, dark cave. Back at the farm, the baby chicks played all day, two by two, two by two, two by two. Then they heard a noise coming from the woods. It sounded like growling noise mixed with a tiny peeping sound. Two by two, two by two, two by two. The chicks looked at one another and gasped. Grrr, peep, peep, peep. Into the barnyard came Peep Squeak with his new friend. A great big bear! We are two, yelled Peep Squeak. All the animals scattered, but Peep Squeak and Big Bear hopped, skipped, jumped, and skittered around the barnyard. Peep Squeak yelled, friends don't just come in twos, real friends make room for all. The end.
And that was Peep Squeak, Once a Friend, by Leslie Ann Clark. All right, Riley. All right, Colby. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. Daddy loves you. Bye-bye. Mwah.